Hello, so in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to um, convert one of your scans from um, the graph paper, um, a third angle orthogonal drawing, into Adobe Illustrator as a third angle orthogonal drawing, all nicely done to specification. Okay, so here we go, we have Adobe Illustrator um, and um, you've downloaded it and everything like that, okay? So um, there's not much difference between the Mac and the PC version. The interface looks slightly different and some of the keyboard um, combinations are different as well. So if I mention the word command, I mean control on the keyboard, and if I mention the word option on the keyboard, I am referring to the, um, the Alt button on the PC, okay? So I use them interchangeably. So first of all, I need to go to File and I go to New. And I'm going to create an A3 page. So I can go over to this one here, print. And I can, um, usually there is a preset for A3. So A3 here. And I'll change it from points to millimeters. Now, if you're not too sure on the size of an A3 page, an A3 page measures um, 420 millimeters width and the height is 297 millimetres high. For this scenario, you do not need to worry about bleed or any of the other options. Um, choose CMYK colour and um, don't have to worry about any of the other things over here, okay? So this is the settings that we need over here. Let me click on Create. All right, so... Let's get rid of this one here, Discover Illustrator. All right, so this is kind of a default um, view of Illustrator. Um, now, if you don't have this all set up like this here, um, your computer might be in such a low resolution that it thinks that it needs to be in a tablet mode. So what you do is you need to go over to Window, and then you go over to Workspaces, and then you select um, I like to use Class Essentials Classic because it has majority of the things open for me right there that I need to access. Okay, cool. So that's the work mode there. Okay, all right. So um, first of all, we're going to create a grid. So we go to um, Edit. Oh, sorry, we go over to. We need to turn the grid on. So we go and press Command and then semicolon to turn the um, the guides on and then command and then um, the quote mark and then we have here a nice grid okay cool 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 so this grid measures your one millimeter grid so it's one by one grid on this one to organize the grid you go over to um, on the mac you go over to preferences then you go over to guides and grid and you can make adjustments in here Okay, so this one here is every, a guideline every three millimeters. Okay, a, like a thicker one. I'm gonna type in here 10, and I'm gonna have here 10 subdivisions. Okay, and then I'm gonna have here grids. Um, I don't want the grids to be in back, I want it to be in the front. And then I click on okay. All right, so there you have it. I've made it so it's very similar to the graph paper that we're using in class. Okay, all good so far. I'm going quite fast here. If you're on the PC, you need to go over to Edit, and then you have a Preferences thing there for the PC. Okay? All right, so then you go over to File, and you click on Place. Please do not copy-paste work in, because it's not going to work properly. I'm just going to go over to my desktop, where I've got my file saved. Okay, please ask me where you can find your files. And then I'm going to go across to my Tutorials folder which is somewhere here. I've got a lot of folders present right here. Where is it? Example scans and tutorials. And I find my drawing, which is not that one. This one here. So I'm going to click on, um, so I'm not going to link my file. So you turn this off, okay. Normally in industry, you have that link turned on, okay? But for school purposes, turn off the link because then it doesn't use the network so much here, okay? Right? Click on place, okay? So what you've got to do now is you press Command-0 or Control-0 on the PC 
and then you go over here and then right to the top corner of your page. So this here is your A3 page and you go right to the top corner here and you click on the top corner. Okay, and this here is my scan. I notice that my scan is um, wrong way, the wrong way around. So I'm going to go over and I'm going to go over here to my selection tool. The shortcut for that is the letter V. So if you press V on the keyboard, it goes into the um, into that tool. I'm going to click on this image. So it's selected. I'm going to go over to the rotate tool. I'm going to double click on the rotate tool and I'm going to type in here, rotate 180 degrees. And then I'm going to click on OK. So voila, I've got my um, item all set up properly there. Is that cool? All right, so I'm going to zoom in now, press Z on the keyboard, goes into the um, zoom tool. And I'm going to zoom right into this. And I can see here that things aren't exactly lining up to the grid. So I'm going to go back to my move tool and I'm just going to move um, my drawing so that the thickness of this is right in the center of this um, grid line over here. Can you see that grid line? Okay, cool so far? I'm now going to go over to the layers palette over here. Now if you can't find the layers palette, you go over to window and you can turn on layers over there. And so it, for reference, it is F7. You press on the keyboard on a PC and you'll get it, okay? On a Mac, you need to press function and then you find those um, F numbers. Okay, so here I've got my layer one and I'm going to double click on this and I'm gonna change it over to the word scan. Okay, I'm now going to go over here. I'm going to lock this layer so I can't edit this layer anymore. Okay, um, I'm now going to go over to create new layer, which is this plus icon over here. And this is where my orthogonal drawing is going to go. So I'm going to type in here third angle orthog and press return or enter on the PC and you'll see it there all good. So my drawing is going to be on this layer here. So layers are like panes of glass. You've got a lower pane of glass, has a drawing on it. If you put another pane of glass over top of it with the drawing on that, you won't see the stuff directly underneath it, but the other stuff will show through where the top one's blank. Do you understand this? Yeah? Panes of glass or sheets of tracing paper. Okay, all right. So I'm just going to zoom out, I'm going to press Z on the keyboard and then Option or Alt on the PC and I'm going to zoom out so I can just make out um, my drawing over here. So I'm going to start off with my um, top view. Now this is a very basic drawing over here, okay? Alright, so um, other things to note that if I press the space bar, it goes into the hand tool, alright? So if I put my finger down the space bar right now, I can shift around my workspace yeah, and if I take my finger off the space bar, it goes back to the zoom tool. So whatever tool I have active, so let's say if I have my pen tool active, so I've got my pen tool active right now, press the space bar, it goes to the hand tool, I can move around, take my hand off the space bar, and it goes back into the pen tool. Is that cool? Right, so next up, we need to ensure that when we draw in Illustrator, things going to be snapping to the grid, okay? So we're going to be doing this as one millimetre in increments, okay? So we're not going to be micron size in terms of detail. So I'm going to go over to, win, uh, to view. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to turn on snap to grid, okay? So what that means is that when I draw something, you'll see that as I'm drawing, it's snapping to the grid of one millimetre increments making it a lot easier for me to do the drawing, okay? Cool. I'm just going to press delete and delete that item. So let's do this now. I'm going to first of all draw this shape over here, okay? Um, I'm just going to bring my, my Illustrator back to default, okay? So you see here, this here is the color menu. And this one here is white, so it has a white fill. So you, it's like you painted something in fully white in, inside. And then this here is called a stroke, which is the outline. Yeah? So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to need to draw all this stuff without having a white fill. Okay? 
And I'm just going to delete um, the white fill so it's transparent. So that red X going across is transparency, okay? So I'm gonna go over here to my rectangle tool and the shortcut for that one is the letter M for marquee originally, okay? And I'm going to click here and then keep my finger down the mouse. I'm gonna drag out to here, okay? I can go over to properties. I can check out the measurements over here. Can you see the measurements over there? Yeah, and if I wanna make refinements, refinement in terms of size of things, I click on this top left-hand corner and I can, for example, change the width over to um, 41. And you can see as I increment up, it changes the dimension there. So if you didn't draw this accurately, you can actually go back and modify it. So that's the beauty about Adobe Illustrator. It is a vector-based program, meaning that I can blow this drawing up to the size of a mountain and the quality would actually get better as opposed to in Photoshop, which is a bitmap, a raster image. If I design it, let's say five centimeters by five centimeters, and I blow it up to the size of a mountain, it's going to reduce in quality. Okay? Yeah? All right. So if you, can, if you want to know a bit, little bit more about that, I have in the back of the classroom, I've got a digital media um, poster, an orange one with um, two black dots there, showing you, explaining you, to you what that is. So moving on from this, so we know this is 40 by 40 and I need to have a centre point right here on this object. So what I can do is go back to the selection tool and you see here this is marking, this little dot here is marking the centre of this object. Okay, so what I can do is I can press Command R or on the PC Control R to turn on the, um, to turn on the guidelines and I can click on the, on the edge ruler and I can drag out a guideline so that it locks in to the center of this. You can see just a faint blue um, line there and I can drag also going down here, I can drag down a, a line here, right, showing me the center point. Okay, I'm gonna go now to the marquee tool, the rectangle tool, long press on it. So I'm holding my button down and another context menu comes up, giving me different shapes. So I'm gonna go over to the ellipse tool, got the ellipse tool there selected, which is cool. I go over to my center point, which is right here. Okay, and I start drawing, whoops, what have I done here? Got this selected. I'm going to start drawing. In fact, I deselect this and then I start drawing, sorry. Start drawing out. And you see there that it's starting to draw out from the corner in which I started from. So if I press option, it starts off with the center. Pretty cool. If I press shift as well, so I've got both the option and the shift button down at the same time, and I drag out, it's dragging out equally. Is that cool? Right, so here um, I should be having a 20 millimeter um, diameter circle. So I'll go over here once I take my fingers off the mouse and then I take my finger off the option and shift button. Um, and then I see here 20 by 20, it's correct. If I did the wrong thing, I can change um, my point of reference to the center point and I can increase the size of this to whatever I want it to be. Okay. Now, um, orthogonal drawing, everything needs to... Um, Everything needs to just be a black line. So you don't need to have things colored in at all. Okay, all right? So I'm gonna go over here, do the same thing to this. I'm gonna go over to my rectangle tool and I'm gonna draw in my other shape there. Done and dusted, okay? And I keep on going with it, all right? So I've also got a um, the technical drawing specification um, booklet over here, which is this purple booklet that you see, not on the screen, but in the classroom I've got this purple booklet and it shows you what the thicknesses of the lines are. So to change the thicknesses of the lines, you go over to the stroke when this is all selected and you can change the thickness in millimetres. And normally the lines are specified as 0.3 millimetre, but other lines that you be using are going to be different thicknesses, okay? And that'll be all for this one here. We've gone for 14 minutes. Thank you, bye. Please subscribe, hit the like button, hit the bell so you can notifications turn on. Yes, thank you, bye.